Today's our second day of sports week, and today we will be doing yoga. So it's a little less intense from uh, from Monday, but it'll be a little more relaxing, and it'll be fun. So Yash, take it away. I'll be doing it with you guys this time. All right, so I for one know how tired all of you guys are from Monday. I mean, my muscles are still sore. I don't know about you guys. So I thought, let's take it easy this time. Yoga. Let's start. All right, I'll go share my screen right now. Can you guys hear it? Yeah, we can hear it. All right. Let's go ahead and get started today in crisscross legs. Oh, sorry. Okay. So I want you to think of the metaphor that you have glue on your bottom. The top of your head, there's a string attached reaching up towards the ceiling. So sitting up nice and tall, that's it. Why would I ask you to sit up nice and tall in your body for breathing? So you can breathe better, right? So if, if you have a really rounded spine and, and your ribs are like this, it, we can assume that it's harder to breathe, right? Your lungs are constricted. Whereas when we sit up tall, we have space for better breathing. That's it. So let's take a nice deep breath in with a clap at the top. We're going to do ocean breath out the mouth. Very good. And then we're going to breathe in. We're going to reach our arms up. And this time you're going to turn your palms forward towards me. Spread your fingers wide. And then you're going to bring your hands and wrap them around your ribs. Remember your ribs are the, those bones. Yep, nice and low. And we're going to start today with feeling breath. So I want you to take a full deep breath in. Fill your belly full of air. Your ribs expand. Breathe out. Let your ribs come back down. Good. So breathe in. Fill full. Breathe out and relax. Last time, big breath in. Big breath out. Very good. Clap at the top, breathe in. Ocean breath out. Very good. So, question for you. Why do we breathe? To become strong. To live, why do we breathe? To circulate your blood, very good. So another question for you, what organ in your body helps you to breathe? Your lungs, very good. And how many lungs do you have? Two, very good, okay. So if we know that it helps to circulate our blood, why, and we know that we have two lungs, why is it really important to breathe? We wouldn't be alive, right? So like at the very essence, we're alive because of our breath, right? Okay, so what about, um, how does your breath affect your mind and your body? So your breath can help to calm your mind and your body down. What else? It can help you to go to sleep. That's it. What about the contrary? Like, have you ever had a moment in your life where you're really upset about something and you're crying really hard? What happens to your breath then? You can't, right? It feels restricted. It's difficult. So our breath can be an indicator of who and how we're being, right? Like if you have calm, steady breath, you're probably pretty calm. But if you have short, shallow breathing, maybe you're like not feeling well, right? And what's really neat about our breath is it can also help us to shift into who and how we want to be, okay? So if I feel like I'm crying and I'm really upset, if I take some big, deep feeling breaths, I can calm myself down, right? Okay, so what we're going to explore today in our yoga class is our breath 
and how our breath helps our body. So we're gonna start to warm our bodies up with a pattern today, and we're gonna start in rock pose. So you're gonna come onto your knees, taking your knees wide, you're gonna touch your toes together, rest your elbows and your forehead. Do you have a question? That. That's it, and just for a moment here, open your All eyes. All right, give me one second, let me pause it real quick. And I want you to use your breath to- All right, uh, do you mind unmuting yourself for your question? Yeah, it's because like, sometimes like I, I do yoga, but sometimes, and sometimes I like with, I have questions every time because like, this is a question like, I don't know all the poses. So I just want to ask how to do lizard pose because it's really hard for me to duck down. You know, so, I don't actually know how to do the lizard pose myself. Um, hopefully when I learned one day, I'll be able to let you know. Hopefully, maybe we might even be doing it on this video. So, okay. we'll see. Okay. Thank you. To fog your mat up. So you're going to take a big breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, breathe out. And again, big breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, breathe out. Very good, now look up towards your fingers and we're gonna come up to table pose. So make sure that your knees are hips distance apart, tops of your feet flat, fingers are spread wide, your spine is long and straight. Very good, and then from here we're gonna go to cow pose. So you drop your belly, your shoulder blades draw together, your gaze goes up. And then we're gonna go to cat pose, your chin to your chest, you really round your spine, press into your feet and your hands. That's it, and then we're gonna come back to our rock pose. Take a big breath in through your nose, Open your mouth and breathe out. Again, big breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, breathe out. Very good. So this time I'm going to take you through the pattern again. So we're going into table, cow, cat, rock. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. One more time. Table, cow, cat rock. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Put a thumb in the air if you can do the pattern without me guiding you. Okay, bring your hands down. We'll meet back here in rock pose. Go with your own breath. Do the pattern at your own pace. Looking up towards your fingers, come back to your hands and knees. Very good. This time we're gonna tuck our toes under and I want you to wag your dog tail. That's it. You're gonna lift your dog tail up to the sky, stretch your dog's legs and let's bend, make sure your hands are flat and bend your knees side to side like you're walking your dog. That's it. And then I want you to look up towards your star fingers, stretch your legs, so if you really feel the stretch in your legs and your arms. And I want you to slowly walk your feet until they make it to the back of your hands. And once your feet make it to the back of your hands, gently bend your knees, take your hands to opposite elbows, let your head hang heavy like a coconut would hang from the tree here, bringing your weight slightly forward towards your toes. And then bring your hands to your hips, look for your belly button, and very slowly begin to straighten your legs. Your head is last, vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly all the way up to stand. Whew. And then you're gonna come to stand in mountain pose. That's it, and mountains are strong or weak. Strong, like no matter how windy it is, a mountain still stands, right? or no matter how hot it is or how many hikers are on it, the mountain still stands, right? Okay, so check it out. Lift up a leg, press it down. Lift up your other leg and press it down. That's it, so check in, strong legs. Top of your head is like the peak of the mountain. Touch your shoulders, touch your ears, bring your hands to your side and roll your shoulders up to your ears and then onto your back. Very good, so from here, you are going to move into warrior one pose. Where is the right side of your body? Right side, that's it. So step your right foot forward and step your left foot back. 
and then take two hands into the air and I want you to imagine that your hands are headlights. So you're going to put them on your hips and you're going to shine your headlights forward. That's it. And then bringing your hands back to your hips, you're going to bend into your front knee. Strong back warrior leg, yes. Reach your warrior arms up. Very good. Take a full deep breath in. Full deep breath out. Very good. Bringing your hands down back to your hips. One soft, steady step back to mountain. Good. So where's the left side of your body? Okay. So this time, your left foot is going to step forward and your right foot is going to step back. Take your high five hands into the air, make those two headlights, attach them to your hips, shine your hips forward. That's it. And then bend into your front knee. Very good. Bring your hands to your hips, check in. Strong, sturdy back warrior leg. Very good. And breathe in, reach your arms up. That's it. And take a full deep breath in. Full deep breath out. And in one steady step, step back mountain. Very good. So from here, I'm going to have you hop to face the side of your mat and I'm going to do it on the count of three. But when you do it, I want you to imagine your feet are like featherweight. And what do I mean when I say your feet are like featherweight? They're not heavy. So what it, will it sound like if your feet are not heavy? What will it sound like when you land on your mat after you hop? Soft, right? soft, silent. So this idea of being really strong yet really soft. You ready? Okay, bend your knees gently on the count of three, hopping to face the side of your mat. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, very good. Now, star pose. How many points are on a star? Five. So let's count. One, two, three, four, and five. Very good. Bring your hands onto your hips. You are going to turn your right foot towards the front of your mat. So towards me. Your right foot. That's it. Warrior two bows. So do we agree that warriors are strong? Okay. So committing to the strength in this front leg, you are going to bend into your knee. Strong straight back leg. And notice when I challenge you with this, if, you're, if your mind tells you, give up, it's too hard. You're going to use your breath to refocus. Okay. Take a full deep breath in, deep breath out. You're going to hold the pose and then release. Very good. Hands to your hips. Turn your right foot in. And now you're going to turn your left foot out towards the back of your mat. That's it. Strong legs. Warrior two pose. Bend into your front knee. That's it. Extend your arms out to a T. Steady gaze right over your front hand. And you're breathing. Very good. Take another deep breath in. And breathe out. Release. Good. Re straighten your leg. Bring your hands to your hips. And turn your left foot to meet your right. Very good. So on the count of three, soft featherweight feet. We're going to hop back to mountain. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Good. And then you're going to hop back to the front of your mat. Ready? Three, two, one. Awesome job. Very nice. So back to mountain pose. Now I want you to take yourself towards the center of your mat. That's it. Right there. And I want you to lift up your toes and wiggle your toes. Your toes are the roots to your tree. And what do roots to a tree do? Hold it straight and strong, right? So top of your head, top of the tree. Imagine that strong mountain body within your tree. You are going to bring your right foot like a kickstand to the inside of your left leg. That's it. And then you're going to use your eyes to help you focus, looking towards the end of the mat. As you're ready, bringing your hands to your center. Use your breath as you breathe, breathing in, reaching your arms up. And imagine that your tree feels full of leaves. Good. And then allow your leaves to fall and step back, mountain. And we're going to go to the other side. So hands are on your hips. Left foot is like a kickstand. Using your eyes to help you focus. 
as you're ready, bringing your hands to your center. Slow and steady, grow your tree branches. Allow your tree branches to fill full. And then slowly, leaves fall. Step back, mountain pose. Very good, sunshine arms with a clap at the top, breathe in. Breathe out, touch your toes. Bring your hands to the ground, spread your fingers wide, step back to your downward facing dog. That's it, and then look up towards your fingers and we are going to walk our feet until they come to the back of our hands. And then you're gonna to turn your toes slightly out and we're gonna come through for frog pose. So you're gonna bend your knees, nice big hip opener here, that's it. And then imagine that your spine's really long, lift your chest, take a full deep breath in deep breath out and we're gonna bring our bottom to the floor that's it and we're gonna let the soles of our feet come together you're gonna take your peace fingers out right around your big toes thumbs are on top and you're gonna press your feet and sit up really tall in your body that's it so imagining that your body is like the body of a butterfly your legs are like the wings and then from here I want you to imagine that your butterfly goes back to the chrysalis. So you're gonna fold yourself in. That's it, very nice. And take a full deep breath in, deep breath out. Very good, and then breathing in, you're gonna come all the way back up to seated. Very good. And breathing out, we're gonna bring our hands down to the side. We're gonna stretch our legs straight out. And then I want you to flex your toes and point your toes and flex your toes. So we're gonna stretch all of these large muscles in our legs with this next stretch. Do you know the name of this muscle here? Your thigh, and what's the name of the muscle underneath? Your hamstring, and what's the name of this? Your shin, and then what's under here? Your calf, very good. So we're gonna stretch all of these muscles by flexing our toes towards our shin, sit up tall in your body. You're gonna take a big breath in, breathe in, reach your arms up, and then as you breathe out, you're gonna hinge from your hips you're gonna fold looking up towards your toes so really take yourself to that edge of the stretch and then find your breath breathing in breathing out good and then breathe in you're gonna reach your arms up very good and breathing out you're gonna bring your hands down very good so the next thing that we're gonna do is a partner pose and it's called seesaw and it's going to stretch our legs similar to the way that we just did, just in a little bit um, a little bit of a variation of that. So what I would like the two of you to do is um, face towards one another. That's it. And then I want you to open your legs up so that they're a wide V and then you want your feet to touch. So you need to come together enough that your feet touch. That's it. And then you're gonna sit up nice and tall. And you're gonna inhale, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, you're gonna hinge from your hips and you're gonna come forward so that you can catch on to forearms. That's it, there you go. And then you wanna inhale, you're gonna sit up tall. So you need your breath here. And you're gonna be very gentle. We call this seesaw pose. So you're gonna be gentle. So you're gonna inhale, one person goes forward, the other person goes back. Good, and then exhale, breathing out, you're gonna switch. Good, so find your breath, breathe in, fold forward, and you can communicate here, pull less, pull more. Good, back and forth, breathing in, breathing out. Good, breathing in, breathing out. Good. You can see why it's called seesaw. Good, a few more times. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Very good, and then you're gonna inhale. You're gonna sit up tall. You wanna make eye connection. Oh, bring your hands back together. Good, look at one another. Give a double high five. Good job. There you go, and you're gonna go back to your own mat. That's it. You're gonna bring your knees up so that you can hold onto your knees, hug your knees, and then very gently you're gonna roll onto your back. That's it. All the way onto your back. That's it. And then you're gonna hug your knees in nice and tight. Maybe you're gonna rock very gently side to side, like giving yourself a little bit of a massage on your back. That's it. 
And then I want you to stretch your legs out towards the end of the mat. That's it. And then you're gonna bring your hands onto your belly. And we're gonna practice something called balloon breathing here. So breathing into your belly, I want you to imagine that there's a balloon. Your only job is to blow that balloon up. So as you breathe in, fill your belly full, let it rise up. And then as you breathe out, you're gonna deflate your balloon, let it relax down. Good, so breathing in, fill your belly full, let it rise up. Breathing out, relax your belly down. Two more times, full deep breath in, fill your belly full. Full deep breath out, relax your belly down. Very good. And then you can keep your hands on your belly for relaxation or just bring your hands down to your side body. And then allow your feet to just relax. You can even just gently move your feet side to side to get them to relax. You can turn your palms up or keep your hands on your belly. That's it. And then allow your eyes to close. So we want to become as calm, as quiet, as still as you can possibly become. And as you become calm and quiet and still, Still, perhaps you feel like you could fall asleep. Just really imagining your body like a bean bag, but it's soft and heavy. If I were to lift a toe or a hand, it would just flop back down. back to your belly. Take a full deep breath in, fill your belly full. 
full deep breath out, relax your belly down. And again, full deep belly, full deep belly out, relax down. And then very gently begin to wiggle your toes. Softly begin to wiggle your fingers. And then reach your arms up and overhead. Draw your legs together. Like stretch like you'd stretch out of bed in the morning. Like a big, 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 big stretch. That's it. And then you're going to roll over onto your right side. Just take a moment on your side. No rush. No hurry. And you're very gently going to come all the way back up to seated. Crisscross legs. Good. Bringing your hands onto your knees. Let's complete with um, a nice full deep breath of ocean breath. So we're going to take a full deep breath in. Bring your arms up and overhead. And ocean breath out. Good. Let's try it one more time. Big breath in. Big breath out. All right. How are you guys feeling? Good. Good? Yeah. That was cool, huh? Yeah. All right. We all feel relaxed and just chilling, right? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for coming today. Um, it looks like you guys had fun. Um, be, we're going to be having another session on Friday. Um, Yash, do you remember what we're doing on Friday? Uh, work at a video that is going to be a lot more intense than Monday, sadly. Oh, okay. We had a so break. Yes, we did have a break today. So Friday, we're going to get moving again, be a little more active, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So thank you guys for coming. Um, I hope you had a good time today and enjoy yoga. And hopefully I'll see you all on Friday at 10 o'clock. Bye.